Um, so I was asked how to back up an entire SMS conversation so that the conversation can be sent uh, to an attorney for some legal legal proceedings. But the person who asked me had no idea to do it. And when I started looking around, there, there wasn't uh, a default built-in way to do it. So I'm gonna, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna start by opening the App Store and you're gonna do a search for SMS backup and restore. There it is, we're gonna install SMS Backup and Restore. And then we're gonna open it up. We're gonna click Get Started. We're gonna allow it to see everything that it needs to see. Now, I've never used this app before, so I'm going to go in here and look because we only want to back up one particular SMS conversation. So let's start with doing a backup. We don't want call logs. We want selected conversations only. And then we can select a conversation to back up. We'll just click this one. This is my realtor. We're going to click back, next, and then it's going to ask us where do we want to back it up. I'm going to choose to back it up to my Google Drive. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do a local backup. I'm going to back it up to my phone. And we're going to want to put it in some specific location. We will use the DSIM folder just because we can. Have to grant it access to that. Click OK. And then next. Yes. I don't want to do scheduled backups, cancel, cancel. Cancel. Okay. And we're going to back up now. Okay. Backing up is complete. Let's view details. So this is an XML file. When you open up an XML file um, in something other than this app, let's actually just go there. Let's go to my files. Where are my files? Oh, there they are. And we're going to go to internal DSIM. And then it should be right there. So by default, it's, uh, XML files will open in a browser. And it's going to be an encoded version of the, the text. But it can be exported and it can be parsed. And this has the entire conversation that we've had, along with date and timestamp. Um, it's obviously a lot prettier if you open the conversation in this app. So if, if you open it in the app, it's going to bring up the conversation, and you'll be able to see all, all of the messages there. Um, so the attorney in this particular case on the other end would need to install this app. When they receive the XML file, they just open it, and they'll be able to see all the text messages that took place back and forth. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. I do want to take a moment to say thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss out on future content. If you have any ideas or requests for content on other technologies or other systems that you'd like me to cover, please drop a comment down below and I'd be more than happy to do a tutorial just for you. Thank you and God bless.